Hi everyone! Nice to see so many friendly faces here. In today's video, we travel to a country where strength and dedication are gracefully displayed and always offer something unique to the world that draws admiration. For example, consider the endless prestige of the Mercedes brand or the exceptional skills of Tony Cruz in the football arena. Now you tell us, what aspects of Germany fascinate you and earn your admiration? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Germany is located in Central Europe. It shares borders with Denmark, Poland, Czechia, Austria, Switzerland, France, Luxembourg, Belgium, and the Netherlands. It has a varied landscape that includes the North Sea coast, the Alps, and the forested hills of the central region. Germany spans 357,569 square kilometers. The country is divided into 16 states and Berlin is the capital and largest city. Hamburg is the second largest city and operates as a federal parliamentary republic with a president as head of state and a chancellor as head of government. The country has 84 million people and the ethnic composition is predominantly German with 87%. Other significant ethnic groups include Turks 3% and Europeans 6% and other countries make up the rest. German is the official language and there is no official religion, but Christianity is the dominant religion with about 53%. Other religions include Islam, 5%, other religions 2%, and non-religion, 40%. The country is also kind to immigrants and accepts many immigrants worldwide. Germany is home to numerous famous places and sites including the Brandenburg Gate, the Berlin Wall, Neuschwanstein Castle, the Black Forest, the Cologne Cathedral, and the Rhine River. Euro is the official currency, and like most of Europe, they drive on the right side. While there isn't an official, definitive explanation for the meanings of the colors, some say that black is a symbol of perseverance and steadfastness. Red is a color that represents bravery and strength and gold represents generosity. And finally, Germany does not have an official national motto. However, the phrase Einigkeit und Recht und Freiheit, which translates to unity and justice and freedom, is deeply ingrained in the German national consciousness and is often considered the unofficial motto. Germans are often perceived as direct and honest, valuing clear and concise communication. They have a strong sense of duty and prioritize punctuality and adhering to rules, which contributes to their reputation for efficiency and attention to detail. Privacy is highly respected, and personal space is important. The concept of Gemütlichkeit often translated as coziness or conviviality, is central to German culture, emphasizing a sense of well-being and enjoyment of simple pleasures. Traditional German clothes are different in any region, with some of the most famous being the Bavarian Lederhosen for men, which is very amazing, and dirndls for women. Now it's turn for traditions and festivals. They are often rooted in regional customs and historical practices. One well-known tradition is the Christmas market, where towns and cities set up festive stalls selling crafts, food, and gifts. Oktoberfest in Munich is something special that every person must experience. It is the largest beer festival in the world, attracting over 6 million visitors annually, who consume about 7 million liters of beer. About Carnival, we can say that Germany has many to offer, like the Rhineland Carnival which is a vibrant festival with parades, costumes, and parties. Another one is Cologne Carnival, which is renowned for its wild and energetic carnival celebrations. And finally, German food is hearty and diverse with regional variations adding to its richness. Some iconic dishes include bratwurst, grilled sausages, sauerkraut, fermented cabbage, and pretzels. German cuisine features robust stews such as Eintopf and delicious pastries like the Black Forest Cake or Schwarzwälder Kirschtorte. Germany is home to the world's oldest brewery, Weihenstephan Brewery, which has been brewing beer since 1040. This country is designed with many castles, 
Over 20,000 castles spread across the country, including the famous Neuschwanstein Castle, which inspired Disney's Sleeping Beauty Castle. Also, you should know that Berlin has more bridges than Venice, with around 1,700 bridges spanning its numerous waterways. And did you know that Germany was the first country to adopt daylight saving time, starting in 1916 during World War I to conserve energy? If we want to talk about exciting, we should talk about the Autobahn, Germany's highway system, famous for having sections with no speed limit, allowing drivers to go as fast as they want with German cars. On top of that, the country is home to the largest cuckoo clock in the world, located in Schonach in the Black Forest. Another aspect of Germans is that they love their bread, and there are over 300 different kinds of bread in the country. Bread culture is so important that Germany has its own bread museum in Ulm. Then we have Carl Benz, who invented the first true automobile powered by an internal combustion engine in 1886. Another fun thing about Germany is the tradition of decorating Christmas trees originated in Germany. And the first written record of a Christmas tree was in the early 16th century. Also, keep in mind that it's the largest economy in Europe and the fourth largest in the world. They also have a strong connection to nature. Forest bathing, Shinrin Yoku, is a popular practice to reduce stress and improve well-being. There are many German dialects, with linguists saying as many as 250 dialects exist, making it a complex language to master. But don't worry, most Germans speak English well, and also, German is one of the official languages of Switzerland and Belgium, and the official languages of Liechtenstein and Luxembourg. Let's watch Germany's ups and downs history. The Germanic people seem to have originated as such in Scandinavia, and in the Nordic Bronze Age migrated south and later ended up running into the Romans, who thought the Germans were nothing but primitive savages, but they did fear them, and generals like Julius Caesar and Germanicus killed Germans. Then, one of Rome's biggest military catastrophes occurred in 9 AD when the Germans under Arminius decimated three Roman legions in the Battle of Teutoburg. And from that point, Rome's expansion beyond the Rhine was pretty much halted and they never conquered all Germany. So years passed and as Rome slowly weakened and as the Huns stormed in from the east, Germanic tribes like the Goths began overrunning the empire and it fell at last in 476. After that, the Franks rose. They were a cluster of Germanic clans whose power ballooned upon being united by Clovis around the year 500 and then converted to Christianity. Frankish might attained its peak with Charlemagne, whose dominions covered much of modern-day Germany. The empire of Charlemagne was split among his grandsons with the German bit going to Louis the German. From this time, the Holy Roman Empire was born in 962 with Otto the Great who stopped Hungarian invaders married his way into Italy and was crowned emperor by the Pope. Meanwhile, the Germans were pushing east across the river Elba to the lands inhabited by pagan Slavs called the Vens. German dominance of commerce in the Baltic came about with the Hanseatic League, a confederation of northern cities with mutual mercantile mindsets such as Lübeck and Hamburg. The Black Death ravaged Europe in the 14th century, causing widespread mortality and social disruption. Then, the Protestant Reformation, initiated by Martin Luther in 1517, led to religious fragmentation and the Thirty Years' War, 1618 to 1648, a devastating conflict primarily fought within the Holy Roman Empire. Religion started it, but politics kept it going. The 18th century saw the weakness of the Holy Roman Empire and the rise of Prussia as a powerful state under the leadership of Frederick the Great. The French-German War, specifically the Franco-Prussian War, 1870-1871, orchestrated by Otto von Bismarck, was crucial for German unification. The war resulted in the defeat of France and the proclamation of the German Empire in the Hall of Mirrors at the Palace of Versailles in 1871. This victory also led to the annexation of Alsace-Lorraine, a region that would be a point of contention between France and Germany. The assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria-Hungary in 1914 set off a chain reaction. 
Germany was involved in World War I due to its alliances with Austria-Hungary and the Ottoman Empire. The war resulted in significant territorial losses and economic hardship for Germany. The Treaty of Versailles in 1919 imposed severe reparations and territorial concessions, leading to widespread discontent and economic turmoil. Before that, the Weimar Republic, established in 1918, faced numerous challenges including economic instability, political extremism, and social unrest. The Great Depression exacerbated these issues, paving the way for the rise of Adolf Hitler and the Nazi Party. Hitler became Chancellor in 1933 and his totalitarian regime led Germany into World War II in 1939. World War II had catastrophic consequences for Germany and the world. The Holocaust, perpetrated by the Nazis, resulted in the killing of six million Jews and millions of others. The war ended in 1945 with Germany's defeat, leading to its division into East and West Germany during the Cold War. West Germany, aligned with Western powers, embraced democratic principles and a market economy, leading to significant economic growth. In contrast, East Germany was under Soviet domination, implementing a communist system and experiencing economic stagnation. Then, the Berlin Wall was built by the East German government in 1961 to prevent East Berliners from fleeing to the West. Many East Germans wanted to leave the communist country and settle in West Berlin, which was part of West Germany. It became a symbol of the Cold War division. The fall of the Berlin Wall in 1989 marked a significant turning point, leading to the reunification of Germany in 1990. Since then, Germany has become a leading member of the European Union and a key player on the global stage. German sausages have 1,500 different types, reflecting its diverse culinary traditions. They have many talented people. Albert Einstein is arguably the most famous scientist of all time. Other notable scientists include Max Planck and Johannes Kepler. Among the philosophers, we can mention Immanuel Kant and Friedrich Nietzsche, Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, Friedrich Schiller, and Thomas Mann are literary giants whose works have shaped world literature. Composers like Ludwig van Beethoven, Johann Sebastian Bach, and Richard Wagner are synonymous with classical music. Athletes like Michael Schumacher in Formula One, Boris Becker in tennis, Katarina Witt, a two-time Olympic gold medalist in skating, and many, many football legends like Oliver Kahn, Tony Kroos, Miroslav Klose, and so on. Germany is famous for excelling in engineering and technology, producing high-quality machinery, robotics, and electronics. The country also boasts a strong chemical industry, producing various products from pharmaceuticals to specialty chemicals. And finally, they are a global leader in car manufacturing, with many brands like BMW, Mercedes-Benz, Volkswagen, Audi, and others dominating the world stage. And now you can understand that this country is endless. What an amazing country. So we will make the second part in the future and also we will make another video for the history and explain it in detail. So stay with us and goodbye for now or tschüss as they say in Germany.